hi guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i will be showing you how i made this gorgeous wig with expression hair so if there's something that you'd like to see then do keep watching till the end i want to welcome you back if you're part of my growing family and if you're new you are definitely welcome let's just jump right into the video so on the screen are everything that we'll be using to make the wig So here I'm showing you how I hold the hair to crochet and also to ventilate. Um, you want to have a good grip on the hair, small pieces of hair, not too much hair, small pieces of hair. And then you want to have a good grip on there and then you can start crocheting. Also, this is how you want to hold your um, hair for ventilating. Um, if my if I'm using a crochet hair, I leave the band on because it helps to ventilate and crochet the hair. Also, when you crochet, you want to hold the hair like I'm doing so, and then you want to pull it through gently and make your knot. This way, your hair will stay in place and you will not make too much mess. So you grab some hair and then you hold it like I'm showing you on the screen, pull it through and then make your knot. So for the crochet, I do not count how much hair I am ventilating. I just make sure they are tiny. I don't have a number of hair strands that I pick. I just make sure they are tiny. And also for the ventilation, I do not skip any lines. I only skip holes for all my um, lace closure ventilation. And also it depends really. In this video, I am ventilating two strands of hair, skipping two holes. Two strands of hair, skipping two holes. I am not skipping any lines whatsoever. But if you feel you want to skip the lines, then that's fine. You can do what works best for you. And also, if you want a less visible knot, you can do a strand of hair skipping a hole. You don't want to skip two or more holes if you are ventilating a strand of hair. And also, it all depends the type of lace that you're using. If you're ventilating a 4x4, four four, then I will recommend a strand of hair and skipping one hole. But if it's a 5x5, five five, maybe you can get away with skipping two holes usually i like my lace to be a bit on the full side but if you prefer the lighter side then you can skip two or more holes so when you're done you want to grab your tweezers and start plucking you need to be really gentle because this is um expression hair and it tends to break easily so you want to be gentle with the plucking and then brush your excess hair out of the hair and then go on and um, I'm going to use my dryer to straighten the hair I'm not going to put it in hot water but at this stage if you want to put it in hot water then that's fine you can do that but I'm going to use my dryer on a low heat to stretch the hair out and then proceed to styling it, to cutting it into a bob. You want to find the middle of the hair and then make your parting, brush it nicely and then proceed to cut your bob. So one thing I forgot to mention in the start of the video, when you're crocheting for a bob, you do not want to make the hair full, no. Just make sure it's nice and light, you know, everywhere is covered and it's nice and light. It will make it easy for you when you go in to cut your bob.
So guys we're coming to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed watching the video i really enjoyed making this wig to share with you guys i can't believe it's made out of expression hair this is just gorgeous so if you did enjoy watching it then do kindly like the video for me share with your friends and loved ones do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video Oh, and the wig took me a week to do and this is what's left um, of the four pieces that I cut yes so guys I will see you all in the next video do take care of yourselves and God bless you all